you guys did last night. Well, it's always good to get a win. Um, you know, it was tough not having Brad and KP out there, but you know, it's a part of the NBA. We always had that at uh, next man up mentality, and we have more than enough talent here to get the job done, and we showed it last night. I think it was the, the night that DeLong got hurt. You told us about your background as a point guard. How much has that come in handy over the last few weeks? Uh, I think it comes in handy a lot, uh, just with my playmaking ability and uh, to try to get other shots of, you know, also myself. So just got to do a little bit of playmaking in for me. Will, what have you made of the identity of this team so far? You guys have been missing players and had different lineups and everything like that. Have you been able to kind of get that going? I think we're still searching it. I think we're still trying to find it. And um, nothing's wrong with that. Like I said, we have a lot of new players. Um, guys are in and out. So um, we just got to keep trying to find it. But I think we're doing a good job of playing hard. So with that, um, it'll come. How did you guys make those defensive adjustments last night? Wes said you just kind of started doing it better. Like it wasn't like the plan changed or anything like that. What were you saying? Just wanting to win, competing at a high level. Um, when you had those two things in mind, then uh, you know adjustments are easy on the defensive end. Um, I think defense is more about taking the personal, just wanting to get stops. Wes said he's relied on you more um, as a distributor since the long has been out. How, how do you feel like your role has changed a little bit in the second year? Um, it has. Uh, like I said, just trying to uh, mix in scoring in playmaker. Uh, you know, uh, DeLon did a, a, a lot for us, especially getting the ball out quick, throwing the ball ahead, making plays for others. So, you know, I just try to do a little bit of that, still, you know, play my game at the same time, which I'm, you know, very capable of. How would you describe the season you've had so far? Um, still early, still, uh, you know, making adjustments, trying to um, see what my role is, um, and, uh, just go out there and play hard, compete, and be the best me I can be. Um, and I'm still figuring it out. So, uh, you know, I'll get better as time goes, as the games keep going. But, uh, you know, I, I'm looking forward to the challenge. What are those things that you're trying to focus in on and, and get feeling the way you want to? Um, just really, you know, trying to figure out, you know, what my role is. Um, and, uh, figure out how I'm going to be being played and, you know, my minutes. But, um, you know, I can't worry about that. I just got to go out there and try to, you know, be effective as possible whenever I'm on the court. So, um, and I think I'm figuring that out. So just stop worrying about all the other things. Just going out there playing hard, playing to win. What's it been like playing with uh, Jordan Goodwin? Oh, I love playing with Goody, man. Goody competes, man. He's a dog. He gets after it. Uh, you know, he's out there talking, he's locking up on defense, and he's making plays offensively. Uh, this guy that loves basketball, you can see he's trying to, you know, make a mark and um, stick in his lead. So, you know, I love playing with him, and I respect him a lot. When you say he loves basketball, what do you think he does or says or whatever? Just his energy like every day, him? positive energy, always smiling, uh, grateful for everything, opportunities he's getting, whether he's playing 20 minutes or two minutes. Always cheering for other guys on the bench. Comes here and gets after it every day. Works hard. Listen to the coaches. Listen to his teammates. Um, you know, he's just a guy that you know is trying to, like I said, is just trying to uh, establish himself. How does that, if at all, like rub off on even veteran guys in terms of in terms of it being contagious? Uh, it always rubs off on the veteran guys. A guy like myself who's been in the league, you know, 11 years now. You know. It, you know, the NBA can, you know, almost stop feeling like a job because this is a business and you can get caught up in so many other things and forget, you know, why you're playing this game. And a Goody is a guy that definitely does that for me. What are some keys to you guys making the bench as good as it could possibly be? Uh, just keep trying to figure out our identity of who, who we're going to be as a bench. And um, once we do that, I think we'll be even better. Kind of surprised here. You say you were still figuring out your role and everything. Obviously, we can't really tell. You've been pretty consistent doing the things. Do you, do you feel like your younger self would have been as consistent with having that kind of question a little bit unanswered? Like, is that something that comes with age, where you're like, okay, I'm not really sure what I'm my role is right now, but I still have to go out and do it. Yeah, it would have been 
definitely tougher for my younger self. Uh, but now it's kind of, you know, it's easier. Because, um, like I said, I've been in the league so, so long. I've played so many different roles. And I know how this league works. So, um, you know, now, like I said, I just have to go out there. And, uh, you know, no matter how long I'm playing, you know, the position I'm at, I just have to go out there and, you know, produce. No excuses. Just go out there and do my job. And I'm more than capable, and I look forward to doing it. Is there any sort of difference for you between playing the two versus playing the three? Uh, I think uh, at the two, I just have more advantages because I'm normally taller than the average two guard. Um, I'm just as big. At the three, I'm a little smaller, height and weight. So, um, you know, those things. But, you know, as a, as a skill and game point of view, no. Especially in the lead today, it's so positional, especially with a two and a three. What's the real difference nowadays? You know, so um, just besides the weight and, and height things, you know, it is what it is. Is there a difference defensively considering how much teams switch more? In, well, first of all, is there any difference defensively? I don't, I felt like I was almost putting words in the mouth there. Is there a difference for me? Yeah, between playing the two versus the three defense. Just depends the guys that are out there. You know, you got some some games you got big threes, uh, a LeBron James, uh, Kawhi Leonard. You know, those guys are much bigger than me, so it's um, it's more of a challenge defensively. So, like I said, it just depends. You know, who's out there on the court. Sometimes you guys are switching so much anyway. It's not like the person you start on is the guy exactly, you Exactly, exactly. So it's, it's, it's game by game, scheme by scheme. Um, it depends, like I said, on the team you're playing against and, and the things they like to do. Six home games so far, but what's it been like having more friends and family in the stands for you? I felt good, man. I like the energy. Um, I think we've been having good crowds. Uh, you know, of course, a lot of my family and friends have been there cheering me on, so it's been dope. I'm looking forward to it, and uh, hopefully we can pick up more home games so more fans can come out. Are you still you? telling them to buy tickets? Yeah. <laughs> I get as many free ones as I, as I can, and then I tell everybody else you got to support. <laughs> when you were in your teens or maybe even younger than that, how much time did you spend in Washington? Kind of, or, or were you mostly... I mean, did you ever visit? Uh, yeah, I, obviously I visit. Um, but I spend most of my time in, in Baltimore, but I would visit D.C. occasionally. Are you finding your way around okay, and are you enjoying it here? Yeah, I definitely enjoy it. I'm finding my way, you know, pretty good. If I don't know where I'm going, I use the GPS. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your first time winning the belt last night? Uh, yes, that is. How, it is. How nice of an honor was that for you? Um, it, was, it was dope because, you know, I always expect to go out and try to win that every night, you know, and just for me to be able to finally get it, you know, it's just something that I'm trying to go to really just piggyback off of and stay consistent with, you know, I want to try to win it every night, plain and simple, just to go out and be dominant defensively and just try to be able to do as much as I can to protect home and do whatever I can to help the team win night in, night out, and it's, you know, going for a belt every night is like, you know, the main goal to help me go out and be consistent, that's what I want to do. Or do you keep it here for safety? Uh, no, I kept, I kept it at the uh, arena. You know, I set it up in my locker room and stuff. Usually, I, I told the guys I use it as motivation because I'm planning on, you know, being able to come in and do the same thing that I did the night before and try to reiterate that the next night out, you know, coming out and playing and stuff. So I couldn't take it home because I probably would have forgot it at home, too, if we're being honest, you know. <laughs> Are you a wrestling fan or a fan of any sports that have belts? Oh, uh, yeah, I was a wrestling fan, of course. You know, every time it came on, I was always in front of the TV. Um, but I never really just like was consistent watching it. But every time he came on, it was always something crazy that was happening on the TV. So I was always glued to it. Got a favorite wrestler? Um, my favorite wrestler at the time when I was younger was John Cena. You know, I always, and I had a real good friend that was in um, elementary school and stuff coming up. He used to always wear like John Cena, like memorabilia, stuff like the armband, the shirt. He used to have the hats, you know, come walking around doing the You Can't See Me in school <laughs> and stuff. It was dope. So yeah, that's my favorite wrestler, like off top for sure. Out of your uh, four blocks, did you have a favorite one? Um, I feel like my best one was the one that we had the challenge because uh, it, was, it was just a multiple effort play. You know, we didn't come up with that rebound. We had to have another defensive possession. And it was kind of like, you know, miscommunication on the backside. White Powell was under the rim, and I just went to go contest it, you know. 
just really just giving like, you know, 110% effort on the floor and just going for everything. And for them to, you know, call a foul after that, it was it was kind of, you know, smacked to the face because, you know, it's my job. So <laughs> I go up and I go block shots, but, you know, we won a challenge. So it's like my first challenge won, like ever since I've been in the league. <laughs> Did you know that it was clean? Oh uh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Did you, uh, I know Wes said that all the other coaches were telling him challenge and challenge. Mm -hmm. Were you also advocating for him too? Uh, I mean, I didn't have a challenge in my mind. I was more of just like stuck in the moment at the time, you know, because they called the foul. I was like, oh, it's, you know, BS, of course. And then they, I hear him in the back of my, I hear him, oh, I'm sorry. I hear him like out of nowhere. It was like, yeah, did you block it? Did you block it? <laughs> you know, I turned around. I'm like, of course, I brought the ball to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, that's how we ended up challenging it for sure um, is when I heard them screaming at me <laughs> on that play you had to recover pretty much across the entire baseline mm -hmm. I guess do you ever surprise yourself oh, I actually got there um it does from time to time it does surprise me but it does let me know that you know night in night out I can do a lot more than what I'm capable of you know I kind of you know get down on myself discourage myself most of the time but when I see myself doing things like that it gives me like a lot of motivation to go out and try to do the same thing night in, night out. And it lets me know that I'm doing something right off the court to where I can come in and lock in mentally to be able to do things like that on the floor. Gaff, when you first got here, you talked a lot uh, to us about how you wanted your cardio to be better, you went mm -hmm. a little bit better. What did you do to improve that? Were you just like on the treadmill? Like what's your gym routine? Um, really that? just day in, day out, either out here on the floor or out in the weight room, you know, strength and conditioning or getting out here and just getting shots up and making sure I'm taking game shots and being in game situations to where I can actually withstand those stints and whatnot. So really just hard work day in, day out. I come in and I get in the gym and put my head down and work. That's the main thing. You know, you can't just come in here and just think it's just going to happen. You know, you got to work for it. How does your cardio compare now versus when you got here? Um, I mean, it's a lot better. I feel like it could be more, a little bit more, you know, progressive. Progression wise, I feel like it could, it could be a little bit more better, but I'm getting there as the days go by. I'm just taking it one day at a time because, you know, not only do you have to worry about body fatigue, you have to worry about mental, mental fatigue too. So those are the things that I'm kind of like, you know, locking into. What do you feel like there's a couple of things that the team is still trying to clean up that you guys went through film with today? Um, Really just, you know, we see that the second, third, and fourth quarter is something the coach was talking about, how we really locked in defensively down the stretch and trying to do that like on a 48 minute base throughout the season, throughout, you know, any game, you know, cause like tomorrow we're going against one of the best teams in the league right now. And they're not going to come out and they're not going to be as, but it's like, we're going to get probably like, if we get down in the first quarter, it's going to be tough to come back against a team like that. So when, once we get to a position to where we can lock in from beginning to end, instead of like, you know, first quarter stints, you know, to where, you know, they're scoring like a 30-point quarter. It's going to be tough to come back from something like that. So if we can lock in mentally to where we can put ourselves in a position to where we start off good and finish good, too, throughout the whole game, that's something that is really going to help us progress throughout the season.